Right, today I'm just going to cook um, something called patatas asadas, um, which is um, Spanish roast potatoes. Um, you can't beat a good old roast potato, right? You absolutely know that about it. Nice roast potato, a little bit of salt, nice and crispy on the outside, absolutely gorgeous. Um, but we sort of, you know, picked this recipe up some time ago. And I'd say that it, it's become um, certainly our preferred um, recipe for roast potatoes. But it's not a recipe that we use all the time because if you're going to have a meal, for example, a, a more traditional English roast type of meal, and you're going to be using gravy and the such like, um, it really doesn't sort of like do any favour to the, the the spices and stuff that this particular recipe is uses. It is a very simple recipe as you'd expect from roast potatoes. Um, we have here um, just 600 grams of uh, potatoes cut up, uh, again depending on your, your preferred size for, for a roasting potato. Again, not parboiled, um, we tend not to parboil the potatoes here we're, if we're going to roast them or anything. I think that for some reason we tend to find the potatoes a little bit softer naturally, so um, parboiling them quite often ends up with them going over fluffy and, and, and crumbling a little bit. And then in here, uh, what I have is a, a mix of four tablespoonfuls of extra virgin oil, oil, olive oil, as you'd expect. Um, then a tablespoonful of cumin and a tablespoonful of paprika um, powder. Uh, now, you can add um, chilli powder, but what we tend to all, uh, add are uh, something called lazy chillies, which is one of the few indulgences that we bring back from the UK, or I have made it in the past with actual chillies. Now, one of the reasons that I use this over and above the uh, spices, the, the, the powder, is that it just sometimes adds a little bit of extra bite and sticks to the actual roast potato a little bit better. Chopped up and, and added in three garlic cloves, and what I'm going to do is I then tend to, to tip all these in here and then just give them a really good mix around yeah, to make sure that all the oil and all the spices get really, really give them a chance to, to cover. Yeah, so you can start to see how there's this little bit of, of the red skinny bits here, the, the lazy chilies that are just starting to, to stick on the, um, the potatoes. So, and then I tend to just let them sit like that for a while. So I'm going to let those sit um, for maybe 10, 15 minutes. I'll mix them round again. And then what I shall do is put them in the oven that's been preheated to 200 degrees and leave them there for an hour. Um, during that time, I will turn them and we'll have a look at how they're cooking. Okay, so we've, um, I've just let these soak for 10 minutes or so. So uh, hopefully the, um, the spices and everything are, are nicely stuck to the, um, the potatoes there. And now all I'm going to do is transfer them into a roasting dish. and pop these into the oven, 200 degrees centigrade we said, and um, probably going to take about an hour. So uh, we'll take a look at them a little bit later on and see how they're cooking. Okay, so um, this is about half an hour in. And you can see that they're uh, starting to cook nicely, turn them around. And you can see that the um, the little bits of chilli, the lazy chilies, have, have sort of stuck to the uh, potatoes this time, which is what we, we um, are trying to achieve. So it's all the little things that we want. So, probably another half hour, and uh, we'll see how they are then. So there we are, pretty much spot on the hour, and we drained the um, excess olive oil out um, about 10 minutes ago, and then left them uh, to crisp up. And they look just about perfect. Anyway, if you try them as ever, let me know what you think.